First tonight, new details on two deadly crashes, one in the metro, another in Cass County, Iowa. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. We begin in southwest Omaha where a pickup truck slams into a traffic signal pole and sends one person flying out of the vehicle. KTV News Watch Evans' Adrian Witzet joins us live near 108th and Q with tonight's big story. Rob, you can see where that truck made impact on that traffic signal pole here at John Galt Boulevard in Q, leaving this gigantic dent in the bottom. In fact, the force of the crash was so much that it dislodged some of the cement from the base of the pole. We don't know the identity of the woman here. We don't know what caused the driver to go off the road, but we did learn within the last hour that this is no longer just a traffic investigation. The homicide unit is also investigating. A witness behind it told us that basically the vehicle just veered off over into the pole. Cutting out the power to the traffic signal, throwing a woman out of the truck. Early on in the investigation, there's no indications of uh, speed being a factor at this point. Not even a skid mark on Q Street. A different story, however, in Cass County, Iowa, where a young woman died after a crash on I-80 near the Atlantic exit. State troopers tell us 26-year-old Christina France rear-ended a semi in standstill traffic. That crash also injured her 24-year-old brother. Both wore seat belts. There were three other crashes in that five-mile stretch undergoing bridge construction on I-80. Troopers tell us the end of holiday traffic in that zone was a contributing factor in all of them. We don't have Iowa's crash statistics, but as of July 3rd, 108 people died on Nebraska roads, which is eight more than this time last year, and up 18% over the average since 2010. That now includes the crash on Q Street. The man the truck is registered to, listed in fair condition at the Nebraska Medical Center. His passenger died at the scene. Neither wore a seatbelt. I think probably the biggest factor in that is seatbelt usage. Um, generally, people wearing seatbelts, even in a crash like this, they have a far greater chance of surviving it. Now, the investigation along Q Street is far from over. Again, we learned within the last hour that the homicide unit is also investigating what happened here, and Omaha police have not released the, identi the identities of the driver or the woman who died. Reporting live, Adrian Witzet, KETV, News Watch 7.